All right, Oliver, Oliver Chantin, co-founder, CEO of BaseNote, a crypto invoicing and accounting app. Take it away. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, my name is Oliver. I'm CEO and co-founder of BaseNote.io. And today I'm going to tell you why cross-border payments are broken and how we can leverage the power of blockchain to actually fix them. First, let's look at the problem. So, actually the motivation for BaseNote, I got it when I was paying a freelancer from abroad and I realized that people in emerging market countries are super difficult to pay. Yeah, if, you lose the, if you use the legacy banking system, you pay high fees, you wait a couple of days and sometimes the payment just yeah, doesn't arrive or gets rejected. So we do have the power of blockchain to fix that, but first let's take a closer look at the actual problem. So why is it so difficult to send money to an emerging market country, for example, to pay a freelancer? Well, first of all, you have a lot of intermediaries. If you look here on the left, uh, yeah, on the, on the right side of the no, on the left side, <laughs> on the left side of the, of the slide, you see that there are a lot of intermediaries. You have several banks, payment providers, and they all take a little cut, a little piece of the money, and usually take some time to process the payment. And in the end, this is excluding a lot of workers from the global workforce because it makes it more expensive to pay them. And yeah, it's not really hassle-free. So what can we do about it? Well, if we use the blockchain, we can use stable coins. The best part is, if you use stable coins, you can pay in dollars or euros, which are hard currencies, far better than most currencies in emerging market countries. You, know? you can save money, they don't inflate away, and um, they're generally accepted. You have lower fees, and if we use blockchains like Ethereum or even Polygon with stable coins, we can settle transactions in a few seconds sometimes. And it's directly peer-to-peer, -peer, the original idea of the blockchain. So, Let's take a look at how we actually solve this problem. We have a web app where you can connect your own wallet, like MetaMask, but we support a bunch of other wallets as well. You can create a smart crypto invoice, send it to your client, and we track the payment on chain. After you got paid, you can also create a tax report. We have accounting integrations with QuickBooks and other software. So we take care of the whole, uh, the whole user experience, the whole thing. Sounds pretty good, but there's still a problem left. We did some surveys and we're basically yeah, catering to both, both sides of the payment. Yeah? The companies who want to hire freelancers uh, in, in emerging markets and want to pay them in an effective way. And of course the Web3 freelancers who want to receive stable coins. But there's a problem. We found out that most companies don't even want to touch stable coins. Yeah? They, they are hesitant to use crypto. Still, even, uh, even in 2023. So what did we do about it? We came up with a pay to IBAN option. That means we create a virtual bank account, a European IBAN number for the freelancer, and any payment that is sent to that um, virtual bank account is instantly converted into US dollar coin, Tether, any stable coin you want. The beauty of this is that the conversion takes place on the side of the recipient, so on the side of the freelancer. So the company really doesn't have to deal with crypto at all. Yeah? No wallets, no fear of loss of funds or accounting issues, all that stuff, we take care of it. So how far have we come? We recently built our fear to crypto invoicing feature, which is uh, yeah, just running for, for a couple of weeks right now and very successful. We will use the Bitcoin network because it's the most decentralized network. We are currently working on that and planning to release this year, Bitcoin Lightning. And for the next year, our plan is to expand further. Right now, we are mostly concentrating on African countries like Nigeria, but we can take this as a blueprint for India, for South America, and so on. So to onboard even more people. If this sounds interesting to you, reach out to me. Um, yeah, we have a very small team, but we are uh, very happy to like, hear your feedback and um, try our product out. It's for free. You can get started for free. And uh, yeah, if you're um, a power user, then of course, uh, it will cost some money. So feel free to reach out and thanks for your attention. Cool. Thank you very much. We've been told uh, no time for questions, but you still have 30 seconds of your presentation, so I can ask you one anyway. <laughs> Currency pairs, what do you offer? What do you plan? 
So we support six different blockchains, but to be honest, 90% of the payments are stable coins on Ethereum and Polygon. So that's really what most of the people want. And we support fiat to crypto payments from Euro countries towards um, yeah, Polygon stable coins. Thank you very much. Thanks. Give it up for Oliver. Cool. Next up from Berlin, Kirill Firfanov.